So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at his profile after the first video that we do, that we did rather. You'll see the photograph that I added of this lovely chap in his pink hair is now showing and also the avatar as well which which will show when we do his first post uh, in your profile you'll see about me which I've not I didn't configure topics any topics that you've made will be in there any posts that you made will be in there and any blogs that you've got will be in there and of course your friends which we haven't got any yet but I'll, I'll show you how to do that in a short while so first of all it's a lonely place if you ain't got any friends so what we'll do I think first is we'll go to the forum again and we'll say who do I want to be friends with I know we'll be friends with wingman so we'll click on wingman's profile there he is and in wingman's profile you'll see that's his status update he's busy 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 of course he is he always he's always busy if you like his profile remember to rate up here I shan't click that because that's a bit you know right and here you'll see about me about what to wingman said about himself there you go also wingman's topics You'll see he's got quite a few topics there wingman's posts there you go lots of lots of posts and of course wingman's blogs when you think right oh I like this chap he seems to have lots of friends there so I think I'll make him a friend uh, so what you do is there to make wingman your friend you just click on that button there to add me as a friend click on that button like so and there you go you're now friends with wingman and, uh, and another thing you can do if you if you like and that is to send wingman a message a pm a pm message and what you do is to send me a message there if you can see that quite clearly so you click on that like so and there we go there's the box for it sending a PM to wingman so you, you type in your subject there which is hello and your message there I'm just saying hello and then you send that like so there you go message message is sent okay so now at this point you've made wingman your friend sent him a message so if you go back to your profile now you'll see yourself and you'll see in your friends there's you go there's wingman and also if you want to make a comment in wingman's profile there you go comments you can just write a comment there whatever you want to put there you'll see people who have commented in wingman's profile already and there you'll see the latest visitors who's been to look at wingman there's the latest visit and there's his skype his yahoo his website url I'll just give that a plug like that and of course click here to email wingman if you like there's his interests there's his location his gender his birthday his age his members title of course he's not online because he's here talking in this microphone as testing and how many posts he's got and when he joined his reputation and so on so that's friends that's friends covered and that's PMs covered as well so now we're going to look at the forum itself for those of you that don't use forums you might be confused as to what is a topic and a post 
Well, the topic is any of these things here. A member like Blue Rose wrote a topic about an 83 year old pensioner being forced out of his council house. So if you click on that, if that sounds interesting to you and you want to read that, you click on the topic title and that is the first opening post. Like so, and with people, with, with members un underneath commenting on the topic, their own feelings and thoughts on this matter all the way through there. So we get to the bottom and you've read all these and you've and you know what's going off in the topic right so you want to add your own reply a mistake most members make or some members make is to press this to reply now if you press that to reply what actually happens is it will quote whatever topic whatever post rather is above it so if you press that it will quote that sentence there but if you don't want to do that, you just want to make a straight reply, you do this. You have to press that button there. Not that one, but that one there. And you can add reply. And there you go. You've got your reply box there. You just type in whatever you want to say. Whatever you want to say there. You'll notice as well here that it says, as a new member, you can make 23 more posts until 4th of September. In other words, you can make 25 posts in a 24-hour period. That's so. That's basically 25 posts a day, which is which is plenty. And we have to do this though because of spammers. Spammers tend to do like a thousand posts in a, in in an hour, and this stops that. But it's no big deal for ordinary ordinary people just talking about ordinary things. It, you'll find you'll be, you'll find it hard hard going trying to be 25 posts a day also in your replies so we'll just write something here we'll just type this is me testing this will become the and of course you can write what you like in here like so and uh, if you wanted to put, um, say if you were sad or happy, you, you, you've actually got these things here called emoticons. And what you actually do is you pick which emoticon with we've, we've plenty to choose from, from thumbs up to confused and smack bottoms and thank you <laughs> and angel hugs and kisses and laughing and all the normal avatars that you get on forums which is one of my favorites there look one of my favorites but what you do is you just click on the emoticon and the word for it shows up there now don't worry about that although you can't see the actual picture in your reply at the moment when you press add reply like so it will show there you go that's your first post that's your username there shows that the person is online is that green man that's your avatar that's your members title and what group you're in in this case you're in uh, as, as a new member we'd like to we'd like to call you fledglings which doesn't last long <laughs> for those that don't like it um, and there's your first post this is me testing. I shall just delete that though, because I don't, I don't want to confuse people. But there you go. That's your first post. Now there's an, there's other ways you can post in a topic. Say if as you're reading down the post, you see something that you like, something that you think you want to make comment on, then you can actually press this button here called reply. And what that actually does is it quotes this message in your reply so you press that reply and you open up the box your box and but there you'll see 
the comment that that person that member made and what you do is you comment underneath that like so and of course you go down here and add reply like so and what you'll find is you get this green box and that green box is called a quote box and what you'll find is that this person this member who wrote this is quoted in your post because that is your that is your writing your comment there whatever whatever you wanted to comment about that that this quote and that is done by as i said replying using that button there again we'll just delete this because i don't i don't want to confuse things we also have another way that we can post by quoting different members at the same time in the same post so again we'll but this time we have to press multi quote there so we press that multi quote and it will quote that message there come down here we'll multi quote so it uh, quotes that message there and you can go you can do this as long as you like multi quote then so it, it comments on that there and what you do then you go down to the bottom and you add reply like so and what you'll find is that all the people that you've pressed the multi quote button on will have their posts quoted on like so and if you look at this you've got their messages in quote it says bracket quote name equals and at the very end you'll see bracket forward slash quote bracket now if you want to make a comment after that quote you have to make sure that you come after the quote like so and just put down like that and just make a comment there same with this one look for the end of that quote which is quote forward bracket quote end bracket again make a space comment there and so on like so and what you'll find now that you've done that when you add reply there is that you now have a box with lots of quotes from different members and your comment is after the quote box itself if you remember what I just said then about only quoting after the quote um, bracket quote forward slash quote thing again I've, I've just deleted that so it doesn't confuse anybody right here you'll see as well in each person's post but in this case it's by blue rose and she's put whatever this you'll see here we have a rating system now if you particularly like that comment then remember to give them a plus vote like so you'll see you get a plus vote there you get one vote there and that transfers over to the reputation there now, it's important for members to use this because then it, is, it, it actually encourages people to, to post if, if of course you've agreed with the post like so and that is basically it for your posting so we'll come out of there now like so we'll just come out of there and there you go that is covering at least some of the basics uh, so that will be the end of this video number two and I'll have to think what's next for video number three